door to this amazing power couple. I'll explain the reason that the power couple is separate and I'm actually with one of the power couple. <laughs> so yeah. It's like, this is gonna be so crazy. I know. <laughs> but before we get into that, I just wanted to introduce myself. I am Kate McShay. I'm the VP of marketing here at Elite Marketing Pro and AttractionMarketing.com. And we, um, Carrie Witt and myself, we hopped on a little chat a couple of weeks ago because we wanted to share with you guys something really, really special and more important than anything, get a chance to get to know Carrie and Wit. And if you guys already know Carrie and Wit, comment in, say hello, um, make sure hello. you know the conversation because we've got some cool stuff to talk about today, okay? Now, here's what's up, here's what's going on, and here's the reason I'm with Wit. Yes. <laughs> We're hanging out at the house with my wife. Yeah. <laughs> a scale workshop and it's yes. all about Facebook advertising. Super, super awesome. Um, awesome, awesome three day weekend that we're going to be at together. But in Carrie's home with the two cute little boys. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Holding down the fort. Holding yep. down the fort this time. And what we're doing is um, we're just hopping out of the workshop for a little bit to give you guys a little bit of a meet and greet with yeah. Carrie and Wit. Get a chance to get to know everybody. Um, so that we also can announce like big announcement about something brand new that's going to be coming up that you're definitely going to want to make sure that you're a part of and you're in the know. And yes. we have a way where you can stay in the know, um, until all the details are spilled. So yes. without further ado, I just wanted to bring this, these two powerhouses and they're a couple too, which makes yes. it even better. <laughs> Facebook Live, just to introduce you guys to Carrie and Wit. And some of you know Carrie and Wit, but you may not know all of Carrie and Wit's story and what they're actually working on for all of you. They're behind the scenes in the labs, like spending tons of time these past couple of weeks planning and preparing something special for you all that you'll have access to. So without further ado, I'm going to actually step back for a little bit and carry in wit. Please feel free to just fill in everybody that's watching or watching the replay a little bit more about who you two are um, and your journey to where you are now. Because just so you guys know, they're literally went from, I think, $80, uh, an $80 residual commission check, yeah. residual check to being one of the fastest growing teams inside of their company. And so how do you do that, right? What was their journey been like? And so feel free to fill them in a little bit so they yeah. get a chance to get to know you two amazing people who are personal friends of mine as yes. well. All right. Awesome. Yes. Hello, everybody. We're Whit and Carrie. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. I'm Whit. For those of you who are not oh, yeah. Carrie. I'm Whit. Yeah, Carrie. <laughs> Whit. I'm Carrie. Carrie. <laughs> it's kind of funny that we're doing it yeah. that way. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are watching, if you're watching, just pop in, say hi. That way we can give you some shout outs as we go. Yeah. Um, but we've been in the network marketing space for almost six years now. And it was actually Wit who drug me into network marketing. <laughs> I had no intention of ever uh, doing network marketing, that was for sure. And if, if that's kind of your story too, where network marketing kind of found you, uh, raise your hand in the comments because I would love to know. Yeah. Um, you know, that was, that was me. And here's the thing. When he, when he first got started and wanted to do this, I was kind of that unsupportive spouse where I was like, there is no way that I'm going to do this. There's no way that I'm going to go and bug all my friends and family. But he had it some way with words. If you know what, he's kind of a sweet talker <laughs> and it's these that make it happen. And he said, <laughs> and he ended up tell, and it ended up being that when we joined it, he said, okay, we're going to do this, but really you're going to do this because I have a job and there's no way that I can do this. So it ended up being me. It was me in the beginning growing our team. And after our first six months in this industry, after making a list of friends and family, you know, going to all of them, going to Facebook, messaging 500 or so people, we had recruited zero people and I was frustrated. Wit was frustrated. And I remember like I went to my upline and I was crying and I was like, nothing is working. Like, what are we doing wrong? Why doesn't anybody want to do this with us? And that's when he was like, you're not talking to the right people. You need to go talk to more people. You need to go where the people are. Well, and the hard thing, so, well, and the hard thing about that was, is when we finally asked of, well, how do we find the right people? The only advice he could give us was, well, just go and talk to more people. They'll, you'll find the rock star, uh, right? Like just go and yeah. talk to more people and you'll find them. And I remember, I remember sitting there thinking to myself, like, 
that's great, but that's what we've been doing. And that's the reason it's not working is because that's all we're doing is talking to more people. And, mm-hmm. so, you know, we, we found ourselves super, super frustrated after six months of putting in 120% like work. And even for the little work that I could do, um, I was setting up one-on-one meetings, you know, like I was talking to everybody on my delivery route that I could and then setting up one-on-one meetings for when I got off work so I could go and talk to these people. Um, and so, you know, even though Carrie was doing the majority of it, I was still trying to set up a lot of one-on-one meetings and work with the team and home meetings and stuff like that. And for the first, I think, 90 days, we had a weekly house meeting that we just invited as many people as we could to. We had yeah. zero people. I think we had one person show up out of the 90 days. And it was a girl that I worked with. She showed up one time, gave us all the yeses just to make us feel good, and then just disappeared. Like, it was almost like... You know, witness Manic. witness protection program. <laughs> you have been through that before, yes. or or just oh, we'll just go talk to more people. That next person you're gonna talk to, like you're so close, just keep finding more people to talk to. Comment in if that's ever been something that you've you know that you've been through before as well. Yeah, let us know because I guarantee a lot of you are probably relating to a lot of this. Maybe little details are gonna be slightly different, right? But you know. <laughs> After the six months, um, well, actually almost a year into it, we were still building a lot of that traditional way. And, you know, and so me and Carrie said, well, the only way we're going to get in front of more people is if we start doing cold market recruiting. So we started going to cold markets and we live about two hours south of Salt Lake City. And we live about five hours north of Las Vegas. Um, So we made a decision together. And and at the time, uh, Carrie, I think, was pregnant with our second yes, and I was. <laughs> decided to make trips during the week doing cold market prospecting in Salt Lake City and then we decided to drive five hours south on the weekends to and stay overnight sometimes we slept in our car depending on where we were um, and we would just get as many numbers as we possibly can from the strip um, you know you name it we did everything possible to get in front of more people and how many of you guys have done that? Like how many of you guys are maybe currently going through that right now of actually trying to get in front of more people? Maybe you've given up at this point and said, you know what, I'm going to do this a little differently. But how many of you guys did what we did when it came to finding more people? Mm-hmm. And Carrie, I want to ask you a question, if it's okay if I get a little personal. Yes, because please. Yeah. <laughs> it with my half no, of my we, face. We've got this. <laughs> we'll, 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 shift this. we'll get there. Let's corner this. <laughs> You look like Jesus. <laughs> what, what did you? What did you feel like? As like a, what was it like? There we go. Now we can actually have Carrie and Wit. There and we then go. Kate. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get there, guys. Yeah. What? Um, what did it feel like as a mom, as a family? Like, bring us back to what that was like. Because I think there's a lot of people who can relate on here. And I want to hear from Mm -hmm. you as just like a father and just the two of you as a partnership going in like, number one, doing all these meetings and nobody shows up. Then, you know, driving for hours, sleeping in your car, you're pregnant. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> this out because I wonder how many other people can relate. Maybe not the same exact story, but like what was going on in your mind at that time when you guys were taking all this action, but like none of it was working. Like what was going on in your head? What were you feeling? Yeah. So when we first got started, um, you know, when we first got started, there was a guy who actually had gotten started a year before us. And that was the story that we were told fire up line. They're like, this guy, he came in, he put, you know, $100,000 of volume in his business in 11 months, he was able to quit all, you know, quit all of his jobs that he was doing at the time. And he was able to do this. And I remember when that happened, it was like, well, if he could do it, I could do it. That was what was going through my mind when we first got started, where I was like, you know, I, I can hustle, I can talk to people, that wasn't a problem. And so when we, when we were going through it, we were going through the motions and I kept getting told no, no, no. And then all of a sudden my first year came up and I was still in the exact place that I was when I first started. And then, you know, we're doing all of this cold market prospecting at the time we had moved from my mom's basement to Witt's mom's basement. And, you know, I had this little boy who was relying on me and I had this dream that I was going to be able to retire my husband because he hated his job. And I was failing. And that's exactly how I felt was I felt like a failure. 
I was failing him. I was failing my little boy. I was leaving my little boy with grandma and babysitters because, you know, when you're making those treks and you're sleeping in your car, you don't necessarily want your two year old right. <laughs> in the back seat with you. Right. And so not only do you feel like a failure as a business owner, I felt like a failure as a wife. I felt like a failure as a mom. And it was frustrating. Like if there, like Whit and I don't fight, but if there was ever a more stressful time in our lives, <laughs> it was when we were trying to build this because like doing it the traditional way, because all, all we ever talked about when we were together was the business. And I was getting more and more frustrated with the business. He was getting more and more frustrated with the business. And it was in January of 2016 when I looked at him and I was like, I cannot keep doing this. Like I cannot keep leaving our little boy. I cannot keep putting the miles on the car. I cannot keep doing this. <laughs> and here I am getting emotional on a Facebook live, but <laughs> just gave me like, that's, that's, me emotional. <laughs> that's the way it was. You know, I was like our, our family, I cannot keep sacrificing our family. I cannot keep sacrificing our two little boys at the time to build this dream that I just didn't think was ever going to come into fruition. Yeah. How about you? And no. what was it like for you? Because I mean, you got to know that this is, you know your wife very well. Yeah. So it's <laughs> you and you know the stuff she's going through and all that kind of stuff. Like what did it feel like for you as a husband and a father and just Well, you know, I mean I remember something like uh my grandma told me and 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 I remember sitting at a table with her and she uh she looked at us and she looked at me when I was talking to her about kind of what we were working on and different things like that and she's all she's all wit, you know, Hyams just weren't made to be wealthy people. They weren't made that way. Mm -hmm. And I remember looking at her and I remember like, I'm going to change that. And so when we got into network marketing, like we had this, we had this huge dream that we're going to change that situation. We're going to change the way we do things. And we're going to, we're going to set a generational thing down a path where our kids are going to do amazing things. And we're going to build this mindset of BS, like we're made to do something <laughs> a lot bigger. And we got into it and two and a half years into it. I remember, I remember in January of 2016, we were sitting at we were sitting at my mom's table because that's where we were living at the time in my parents' basement, and I remember I remember like just physically looking at Carrie, and it was over. She was done with it. Um, I know my wife very well. I know when she checks out, whether she and she can lie to my face, I'll know. <laughs> and, and there was a lot of times, you know, she put on the smile. She she's like, you know what? I'll just keep going through the motions. But I knew that there was no heart, there was no soul. There was literally mm -hmm. it was just like it was almost like ready to accept what we were going to be doing for the rest of our life. Mm. And what scared me most guys at the time I was delivering, uh, I was de delivering for a subcontractor of, of Pepsi at the time. So I was driving a, a Pepsi truck and I remember like thinking to myself, like every morning that I would wake up, I'd get up at like four or four thirty in the morning, I'd go to work. And I remember thinking to myself, like, this is my life now. Like, this is what I'm going to be doing the rest of my life. Mm is driving mm -hmm. the truck, waking up every morning. I hated doing it. And I found no passion because it didn't stretch me. It didn't push me to be better. It didn't do any of that stuff. And I remember thinking like, holy crap, I'm going to live in my parents' basement for the rest of my life until they get old and they give me their house. And <laughs> like, that's how it's going to be for us. And I remember thinking like, we to do this. So in January, we're going to make it happen. Like I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to do an all out big push January, 2016. I'm going to do as many meetings as I possibly can. I think I did anywhere between 120 to 150 meeting, one-on-one -on -one meetings, working a full-time job wow. by myself and driving all over the place. Carrie did not see me in January, 2016. So, and I got done with the end of the month and I signed up zero people, not so a single person. How many of you? And it's so cool. I'm, I'm happy because we're seeing some of the comments and people are like, I just love hearing your story or this is how I feel right now. Like, I know this can work, but like for some reason, it's just not working for yeah. me. And so with, um, well, two things real quick for all of you that are here, join in on the conversation on what's your reason yeah. for what you're doing. Because yeah. this was part of the, I know, uh, Carrie, I know Carrie and Witt's story very well. <laughs> And it's like, I, I had heard before their passion and the reason they were doing it. And I just want to know from you guys, like, what's the reason you're doing this? Is it to grow a legacy? Is it to, um, you know, be able to actually not have that feeling of, and I remember I had a feeling like that too, where I closed my eyes and I was like, 
I don't want to be doing what I'm doing 15 years from now. Like, I don't want this to be the mm -hmm. part of my life. And so I would love to, yeah, and see everybody's like so touching. This is making me cry. This yeah. is like, but this is the stuff we talk about. Yep. This is the reason we do what we do. And this is the reason we're in the industry we're in. So join in and let us know your purpose and your like, what drives you to actually do this business. And I think the other part that I want to know from you guys is what, changed because yeah. to do a hundred like did you hear that 150 one-on-one -on -one conversations and not sign up anybody after all of that mm -hmm. something drastic had to have changed in order to get to where you guys are now because i yeah. do want to make sure that we talk about um basically it, it's um a special training that we're, that carrie and wit are preparing and creating for you guys to be able to learn how to get access to called the social media enroller but it's really about utilizing this unique influencer enrollment method on how to and this is the crazy part now that you've heard their story how do you actually influence people without having influence like what mm -hmm. does that look like and so yeah. can you guys talk about what changed what happened and then a little bit about you know what your results are now yeah yeah yeah, so, you know, when after all of this had happened, Wit had done all those meetings, um, he started looking like he had said before, I had checked out, I was like, you've got to figure out a different way or I'm out like I can't keep doing it. And he was actually the person that found this community it's the attraction marketing community. And we uh, started uh, investing in ourselves in mentorship and through, you know, courses and different things that the attraction marketing community had. And this was the thing, you know, when it comes to, let me ask those of you who are on here with us, you know, you hear this story from stage where you hear people, they're like, you know, I, I, I did a whole meeting. I had 50 people there and all of them signed up. Right. Or, you know, I, I was, I had never done network marketing before. And then six months to a year later, Oh, I'm the top rank of the company. How many of you have heard that story? If you've heard that story, just yeah. like maybe drop a one or raise your hand in the comments. Cause I'd love to know. Yeah. So, you know, there's one, what, what is it that these people have, these people that are able to get 50 people in a room and sign them all up, or these people that, you know, are able to hit the top ranks of their company very quickly. What do they have that the majority of people in this world and that actually join network marketing don't have? What do you think it might be? Because it was when we understood this one concept and, and we understood, oh, there you are. You're back. Am I back? <laughs> did they hear everything or did I just talk to myself for the last five minutes? We didn't hear that, so it must have been us. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, all right. <laughs> so yeah, you guys are kind of choppy. Let us know if you can if you guys can hear us. Uh let's see. Then start asking what is wrong with me. Okay, all right. So I think people can still hear me. I don't know if people can still hear you, you guys. Us. I think you can hear us. Now you guys are robots. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> dang it! We moved. Well, it. keep going, Carrie. Keep going. All right. So, <laughs> okay. So you heard me. Great. So yes, absolutely. Okay. We have people that were that are here with me. All right. Influence. That's the thing that these people had. And when we understood this one concept, and this one concept of how to grow influence on social media that's when everything changed and that's exactly what the attraction marketing community taught us was how to grow that influence so for those of you who are on you know when it comes to network marketing and when it comes to having that influence if you have influence it makes it easier to enroll people right but what if you don't have a network of, a big network of people to enroll that was another thing so the biggest struggle that most network marketers have is one they don't have a network it's network marketing. And here we are thinking that if we don't have a network, we're going to find success, right? <laughs> in order to have success in network marketing, you have to one, grow a network and two, grow influence over that network. When we understood these two things and when we started working on social media and actually putting things in place to grow a network and not just a network, but a targeted network of people that wanted what we had. And then we were able to grow influence over those people when it came time to promote it wasn't a matter of if we were going to have people join us. It was a matter of how many, and it was a matter of how fast. And so that's what this special Black Friday training that we're doing is going to be all about. It's about growing that network of people that want whatever it is that you have 
on social media so you don't have to worry about doing the home meetings or the parties or and here's the thing in growing a network it's not just going through facebook and hitting the friend 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 like going down the list and friending a bunch of people those people aren't targeted it's about finding people that are interested in what you have growing that laser targeted audience so when you're building that influence and when you're offering them things that can actually help them they're already interested yep. so this is all going to be about the how because mm. again mm -hmm. when we if we go back to where we started the story of when our upline told us, well, you're just not talking to the right people, they couldn't teach us the how. And it wasn't their fault that, that, that we couldn't teach they didn't, they didn't do that. For some reason, they had influence, and they don't mm -hmm. duplicate that influence because they just naturally built it. And so what we wanted to do was, is, is we wanted to put something together that teaches the how pieces of this, not only for yourself. So for you to go through, you learn the how pieces, but now that I'm learning the how pieces of this and growing an audience, engaging with that audience, um, you know, marketing to this audience, how do I get my team to do the same thing? Because there's a big, there's a, there's a lot of people out there like, yep. well, I'm learning this, but how does this translate into my whole team? What does that look like? Yeah, duplication is so important. Huge. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people, when they start learning a new skill, so I don't know about you, but when we started learning this, I was like, how do I teach my team how to do this? Like, I, I'm not, I'm not ready to teach them. That as you as a leader start to do, your your team is going to start to do, going to start following you. And you don't necessarily have to teach them everything, but you'll have something that you can plug them into in order to, you know, really duplicate that system and these skill sets and stuff like that. So ours is strictly focused on the how pieces. What does this look like? The how? We're not going to say, okay, go and talk to more people or go and find more people. We're going to actually show you where they hang out how to find them on social media mm -hmm. in a lot of different ways that we do it inside of our business. How many of you are excited about this, by the way? And like, yeah. cause I saw so many comments of this is like, this is where I'm at right now. Or yep. gosh, I just wish that it would work for me. Or like it works for everybody else. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work for me. Or I get like, a little part or a little taste of like the method or what I'm supposed to do, but I really don't know how to do it. Yeah. And it's very frustrating. And so how many of you, I want you to join in and let us know if you're excited for what's going to be coming up in the very, very near future for you all. Plus, just so you know, as a little sneak peek, we are going to be doing three days in a row, three days worth of free training for you guys leading up to this social media enroller live training, a live masterclass. And they're going to be giving you some pre-training on it. So you know what's going on. You can be three elements, right? Three yeah. elements. Yes. Yes. Even before the class happens. Okay. So everybody's like, yes, sounds awesome. So here's the deal. And this is something that we did exclusively for anybody that's watching this video or wants to hear more about it. We have an early bird notification list, yes. okay? So yeah. the ability to be able to join in on getting your seat in the class opens up on November 20th. However, we've got an early bird list. So either do one of two things. Go to the link that's in this post or in the comments if you're watching it through like a watch yes. party or if you're watching it on somebody else's page. Um, and you can also go to EliteMarketingPro.com forward slash SME. Okay, that's EliteMarketingPro.com forward slash SME. It'll take you over to a page where you can just enter your information. Or you can be notified of when everything's opening up, when everything's starting, and all the news about the live class. Um, yes. yes, when, when, when. So the actual training will be happening on November 29th. You're going to be hearing so much more about this in the upcoming week. Um, but the live training will be on November 29th. We'll give you more details about it very, very soon. But what we really wanted to do is just, I wanted to bring these two on so you could get a chance to meet them. And you could, I wanted to, like, I was like, I hope that they dig in. Really what was going on because yeah. I've been so touched by them and I am so incredibly amazed with how far they have come in such a short amount of time that it was like, we have to get these guys to really share the story, yeah. right? Not just mm -hmm. like the, oh, you know, life is terrible and now it's awesome. It's like, yeah. let's get into the heart of the matter because that's what so many people can yeah. relate to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it yeah. comes down to like, this is what I love about this. Is this these three things, at first I didn't realize we were doing it until finally like it just clicked for me probably without within the last year that we continue to focus on these three things. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're going to share with you. This is something that continues to work 
over and over and over, yep. bringing new people to us, people wanting to enroll in our team and building our business like how we want to do it. I haven't done a single home meeting in, in three years. No nope. home meeting in three years. Okay. I retired him out of Pepsi in less than 10 months using this strategy. Yep. And what's really cool is, like what said, we're actually duplicating it in our team. You know, there's a, a gal in our team. She was able to rank advance four times in less than seven days. Yep using these strategies. Yep. Another another girl, uh, she rank advanced three times in 17 days. Yep. So it's we know that this works. It works for anyone, regardless of your company, regardless of your team, regardless of your product, because we're focusing on those three elements that actually grow influence. Yep. So what I'm doing is um, Carrie and Wit were so kind to put this training together for um, you know Elite Marketing Pro and AttractionMarketing.com and Carrie and Wit, who are also two of our top affiliates or the top affiliates inside of the community. Um, we worked together, so we create. So they're going to be creating this special training for you, this masterclass. But there's a bigger, more impactful piece to it that actually goes beyond your business. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I wanted to briefly touch on this. We're going to be talking more about this as well, but this is something that we do um, every single Black Friday inside oh, of yes. is we have the masters, right? Come and train on a specific uh, marketing strategy or a specific method that works really, really well for them. And we utilize it and do it so that we can also help give back. Yeah. Yep. It, like, because here's the cool thing about, like, we think of November. It's the <laughs> deals, right? Like, like it's Black Friday. Everybody, bye, bye, like, bye. Well, everybody thinks Sales. of, you know, craziness at Walmart, people stepping on each other, knocking over the old person that's greeting you at Walmart, yes. you know, like all of that stuff. Well, this is a time of year that it's, it's about giving back to. Yep. So me and Carrie wanted to put this together and not only give back to a community that's truly like changed our lives and kind of how we do things in our business. And, you know, I get to be a stay at home dad. I've been a stay at home dad now for almost, uh, coming on three years in March, okay, where I've left my job and now here I am. But it's also, time, like Kate said, to bless other people's lives because we all know that this is always one of the hardest times of the season, especially if you're struggling or whatever that may be. We wanted to partner with a with a with a with a company that is changing people's lives and kind of doing what we do, where we actually teach skill sets, lifelong skill sets that go beyond just giving you something, but actually really impacting people's lives and you know making a bigger difference in teaching them skill sets to, that's that's going to last them forever, right? Yeah. So you'll hear more about yes. um, who we have partnered up with, yes. gosh, for years. About it's it, their name is Heifer International, and Love a them. huge chunk of what we're doing for this Black Friday special masterclass training will be going to Heifer. And so, like Wit was saying, this is about growing, um, having a very, very powerful training to grow and impact your business. And at the same exact time, while you're learning and growing, you are impacting other people in the world. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. One of the biggest things that we believe in inside of the company here is that we empower our students to become stronger leaders, effective business owners, and amazing problem solvers, resourceful yeah. problem solvers. And that is exactly what this charity or what this organization does, what Heifer International does, is that they help empower people to become self-sufficient in countries where they need help yeah. being able to do that. And they need resources to be able to do that. And so we'll be yeah. actually doing an interview with Heifer International so you all can understand what we're doing, what we're up to, and how important it is. And it just goes way beyond just even your own individual business. You're going to be able to contribute in a way where you get a chance to really, truly impact uh, the world, yeah. which is just it makes my heart like yeah, so warm. Awesome. And the fact that we get to have Wit and Carrie be the master trainers is just like, it just makes makes my heart so happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I know we went a little bit, um, a little bit over than we normally do for our daily doses of awesome, but I really wanted to make sure that even if you know Carrie and Wit, you got a chance to really know Carrie and Wit and their story and what they've been able to do in a very short amount of time and how they're going to be breaking it down for all of you so then you can actually take the information and start applying it to your business. So again, if you want to be on the early bird notification list, 
um, make sure that you go to either the link that's up inside of the post of where you're watching it, because it could be through a watch party. Um, but also, if you're not, you can go to EliteMarketingPro.com forward slash SME, and you can go get yourself on the early bird waiting list. So you are like all set and good to go when you have the ability to be able to get access. Okay. Yes. So before we hop off, I just wanted to say thank you both to you, Wit, and you, Carrie. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and and, and I apologize for keep running out. Uh, Xander, the four year old, needed help getting his pants off, and then he needed help wiping his butt. So <laughs> I'm being mom here at home. <laughs> That's the power of what we do, right? Absolutely. That's the whole reason for yeah. what we do here. So, any final words for both of you um, before we hop off and everybody goes and gets themselves added to that special early bird notification list? Yes. Well, we're just, we're very honored. Um, I know I speak for both Wit and I when I say we're honored that we get to do this training, not just, not because here's the thing, you know, attraction marketing, it made such an impact on our lives. It made such an impact on our business. But now this is our chance to give back. It's our chance to give back to the community that helped us grow. And it's also a chance for us to not only help elevate the network marketing industry, but elevate the world as well by helping people, you know, through Heifer International. So it's it's time to change the tone of Black Friday and actually bring it back to that giving, right? That's what we're really excited about is the chance to make that impact. Yep. And real quick, just somebody's posted in the comments, Susan, freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. Like I want to I want to highlight this and maybe some of you have done this too. Uh, me and Carrie have known Susan now for a few months now. Um, she's mm -hmm. actually been through, you know, a lot of the things that we teach um, and some of the stuff that we're going to be going over. And I love what she just said here. She just finally had, she had somebody actually reach out and say, you know, she was an in inspiration to somebody. Okay. Like, you don't know, like, these are the small wins that you want inside your business and not only inspire, but now you like during this time, you have a chance not to only inspire just the people that you're following, but also change the lives of people that you'll, you'll probably never, ever know that you actually, you actually ever touch. So just excited about this and it's going to be fun. And that's the power of this method, yep. right? That's what this method yep. can do. Yep. Um, so for everybody that's on here, either watching the replay or if you are watching live with us, join in on the conversation and let us know if you are making a commitment to be there on Black Friday so you get a chance to actually be a part of this live masterclass training, um, which also means that you get the recordings of it. Yeah. So if you can't make it live, that's okay as well too, yes. because we'll be taking the recordings and, and turning it into a total complete course, um, which yep. is super awesome. So I want to know, join in on the conversation. If you are going to be coming and showing up and getting your spot for the black Friday special, where we support heifer international by yes. giving you what's hot, the, the best methods in order to help successfully grow your business. Good. Cool. People are going to be there. And if you know somebody else, that really could benefit from this as well, right? This is another part of giving back yep. and making sure that you let other people know what's going on, what's happening. Have them get in on this conversation as well too. So make sure you get this video out to them so that they have an ability to join in on the conversation as well and get in the know. Love it. We're getting All a right. lot of this, this. They're going to be there. We're getting a lot of yeses. We're going to have a lot of people yep. there. So. And I'll get to Love you because I'll be your guys' host. So yes. it'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> so you get more of the uh, the three of us. I don't know what to call that. I was gonna call it a threesome, and I was like, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Here's the irony of it: when me and Carrie first got started taking our business online, she's one of the first people that we talked to. Aww. That, yeah. That changed it. Like, mm -hmm. really got our minds in a place of. And now here we are doing a training with her three years later. Mm. And we're all full circle here, not in a threesome, so cool. but <laughs> amazing. As my wife, of course, Carrie's the one who said that. But it's, I, just, I just find I just find that so cool that here it is. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. So make sure you get on the waiting list yep. and be on the lookout because we're going to be live Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, um, giving you guys some of that prior training, talking about the growing and the engaging and the promoting to your audience. You're not going to want to miss it. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you both. We're going to hop back mm -hmm. into that workshop in there, and we want to hear from you also. Make sure you get in on this conversation. Let us know that you're coming, and make sure you go to EliteMarketingPro.com forward slash SME to get yourself on the list so you know when everything is all set and ready to go and how you can gain access. All right. Perfect. Take hey, care. Guys.
Okay. Hey, we'll see, see you soon. Ya. See ya. Which way is my hand? There it <laughs> is. <way>? <laughs>